What's good, everybody? This is Algebra 1 with Mr. Peters, the biggest 305 Miami Hurricane fan ever. Guys, today, we are going to be talking about absolute value and how to simplify absolute value, okay? So let's start off with just a definition. So we know that absolute value is the distance from zero on a number line. Okay. And we should also know that absolute value is always positive, right? Always positive. So please remember that. Distance from zero, always positive. And I'm going to break down how to simplify absolute value, okay? So let's look at our first scenario. All right, let's put scenario number one. So when we have uh, the absolute value brackets around the numbers, right? What we want to do is drop the bracket then do the operation. So Mr. Peters, what do you what do you mean by that statement? So let's 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 do some examples, all right? So the first thing we want to do with this first example Let's just make sure we understand absolute value, right? What we're looking for. So what I'm highlighting right now, these are the absolute value brackets, okay? So we're going to put ab value brackets, okay? These are not parentheses. Okay, so let's just make sure we get that there. Now, based off what I said, the bracket is just around a negative 13, right? So what we want to do is just drop the bracket, right? And once the dr bracket gets dropped, our 13 just turns to positive, And that is our answer, 13, okay? So let, and that, that's all that it is, guys. So let's just keep it simple, okay? So if they give you a problem like this, all you do is drop the brackets, your number becomes positive, that's it. Now let's go on to the second example so you guys can see better of what I mean. So we have the absolute value of negative 12 plus the absolute value of 15. So based off the notes, I said, hey, we're going to drop our brackets. And once we drop the brackets, the number becomes positive. So now this same problem, guys, sorry, let's go down. It's going to turn into positive 12, and 15 was already positive. It's just going to stay the same. And now our answer is going to be 27, and that is it. Okay? Now, let's look at one more problem before we go on to our second scenario with absolute value. So in the last problem, right, and this is the trick that they like to try to get you guys with. So we have the absolute value of 24, and we're going to subtract the absolute value of negative 15. So the crazy part right now is we know that once we take it out of the bracket, it can't be positive, right? But I see a subtraction sign here. So how are we going to solve this? Well, this is what we're going to do, guys. Let's just start off with one step. So we take 24 out the brackets. It stays the same. 15 was negative, right? But once we take it out, it's just a positive 15. And as a result of this subtraction symbol, right, that, that symbol is not affected by absolute value. So we just bring it down. And now we have 24 minus 15, and our answer is just 9. Okay? All right. 
So now let's 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 go back up a little bit and let's talk about scenario number two. All right, so in our second scenario, guys, it's a little bit different. So let's say the brackets are around the entire problem. And let's just go down here. Problem slash operation. Okay. So if it, if it's a, if the brackets are around the entire problem, what we want to do is solve first, right? Or should I say simplify? Let's write that out here too. Simplify and solve first, then drop our brackets. Okay. Now let's talk about what that means. So let's go over to our fourth example, right? So now we have the problem that says we have the absolute value of 15 minus the absolute value of 23, right? So if you look at the brackets now compared to the first scenario, it's around the entire operation, right? So the entire problem rather than just the number. So that's the biggest thing you guys have to look for. Where are the absolute value brackets? So now, like the scenario says, we're going to simplify slash solve this first, meaning we're going to do 15, the absolute value of 15 minus 23, right? And once we do that, we'll have the absolute value of negative 8. And once we simplify it, now we could drop our brackets. And once we drop our brackets, we know that the number inside will now be positive. So our final answer will just be 8. All right? Let's go on to another problem. So in example number 5 now, let's do a different one. So in this one here, we have the absolute value of 21 minus 17. And we'll close our absolute value brackets. So just like the first problem, absolute values are around the entire problem. So we're going to take care of this problem first. So once we subtract 20, 17 from 21, we're going to get the absolute value of 4, right? And guys, I want you to know, if it's positive inside absolute value brackets, it's just going to stay positive. It will not turn to negative, okay? So if it's positive inside absolute value brackets, it's just going to stay the same because absolute value can never be negative. It's always positive, okay? So we're going to stop right there for our video on absolute value. Guys, please remember... Absolute value is just a distance from zero on a number line, right? If the absolute value brackets are around just the number, like in scenario one, we're going to drop the brackets, then solve. If the brackets, however, are around the entire problem, we're going to solve it first, then we'll drop our brackets. So thank you guys today for joining us. This is Algebra 1 with Mr. Peters. Biggest Miami Hurricane fan you'll ever know. Please subscribe to our video. Like, share, comment, and join us for the next one. Thank you.